most part? I mean, it was the first game. It's going to be good and bad, get the jitters out. Um, you know, from a standpoint of uh, giving up big plays and stuff like that, we're going to try to continue to work on that. Uh, but overall, they did, they did pretty decent. I would gave them a C plus. Chris Steele, in particular, playing his first game, what did you think of his performance? No, he's not bad. I mean, he had a couple of situations that we're going to clean up. Um, but uh, we still feel confident about what he's capable of. And uh, we still plan on working a three-man rotation with the corners and, and just go from there. Do you think that poses any problems of its own rotating corners within the same series? No. Uh, well, I don't do it in the same series, but unless there's a situation or something like that. But, um, I would prefer to do it by series. What did you think of the rotation between ITS and Steel? Maybe you thought Steel should be given a little bit more, or did you like how it broke down? And it's, just, it's the way the game goes. You know, ITS did a good job, and he was going pretty good. Um, Steel got in, he had, there was a couple of big plays that happened. Not necessarily all his fault, there's a safety situation. But the safety should have been there, should have made an interception, really. Um, so, no, this is not an OG Steel this or that. I got a whole lot of confidence in him. He's still in the game plan. I still plan on rotating. And I expect him to play just like the other three, at least two thirds of the game. What are a couple things that you're anticipating about Stanford and their passing attack? They don't throw the ball. That's just what they do. Um, they trust their receivers on 50 50 balls. Um, and, and we have to defend it. Are those the hardest plays for young cornerbacks? 50 50? Uh, not necessarily for young, just in general. Um, okay. Uh, their style of play is going to be more back shoulder so which requires a different technique versus the traditional long ball trades. Yeah. So there's a little bit of uh, work to be done there. Uh, not necessarily worrying about the quarterback. Stanford, Stanford. It's a system. Uh, obviously, they may do things different, but we're going to study what we see on film and what they like to do and, and try to defend them. Are they, can you tell us a couple subtle differences that you see between KJ and Davis? Uh, not really. It's too early. I mean, you got a guy who we probably eyeballed for <laughs> all of last year in, in, a, in a quarter and then trying to make a judgment on a guy from a half. Yeah. Uh, that, that's going to be a little unrealistic. That's so, what they're doing, too. <laughs> exactly. So the biggest thing we're going to focus on is, is just in general, what is the makeup of Stanford? What do they do? Yeah. And then what we can do. So it really comes back to us. It doesn't matter what they run or the routes or the, the run plays. We're the ones who have to perfect our technique and the way we're doing things. Well, I mean, you obviously are very familiar with KJ. What are some things that right away you just know about him that you feel like, you know, he'll give you, he can give you problems? I don't look at it as problems. Um, he's a very good quarterback. Yeah. You know, um, very accurate, very patient. Um, he, he has good touch on the ball and good command of the offensive system. But like I said, it's not necessarily about him. It's about us executing on defense. Um, how well do we execute our, our run fits, our technique on this particular coverage? So it's not about them. It's about us. You said you gave your corner to see a class for Saturday. What did you give your safeties? Um, they did. They did pretty good. Um, Tyler Noah had a solid day. Obviously, 21 got the uh, big pick at the end. Got a sack uh, in the middle of the game. Um, uh, Chase got a little bit of safety. Uh, I would have anticipated that to have been an interception. Um, but you know, they're, they're C plus B minus. I, I grade the whole group the same. You know, so it's just to say that we still have work to do, um, which is to be expected. Um, and you know, that's just what we'll focus on right now. Do you have a most pressing concern about the group on the secondary at all? No, it's just we need reps. <laughs> I can't, I can't, you know, time is the only thing I can't control. And the more reps they get, in my opinion, the better they're going to be. How well would you say Greg Johnson handled his first game at Nickel? Oh, he did good. He did good. Um, I thought he did a solid job. I, um, we, we went nickel and then a little bit of base. I think he got most of the, if not all the reps at, at nickel. Um, he did a good job. You know, he had that one big ball, but that was an unbelievable catch and unbelievable coverage all together. So um, I would have graded him probably, you know, a B minus. <laughs> what would you say is probably the area he needs to improve at the, the most at that position? Uh, everyone has something. Um, 
always working on the fundamentals, you know, how well am I planting the job getting out of my transition. Um, he had a couple good blitzes, you know, okay, can you time it up faster, get rid of faster. It's, it's just a lot of little things. Should we expect more rotation with the nickel moving forward, or do you like it? Well, I, I would like for uh, Seven to get in some more. Um, he's a dual guy in regards to safety and nickel. Um, it kind of depends on the flow of the play, the flow of the game. You got in one, two minutes, like second. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. So, I do expect a rotation.